And we're back here at Evolution 2017. We have gone through 2,600 players. Only four remain. Welcome, only everybody. one of them is in winner's bracket. Yep. And I'm James Chen. And I'm Sage M. This is going to be our top four here at Evolution. Thanks to everybody for tuning in and joining the Street Fighter action, no matter where you are in the world. We're here watching Street Fighter at EVO. And this is going to be a good one. Tokido and Itabashi Zangi, both the, from Japan. And a big punish right out of the gates. Itabashi gets it started. Yeah, both of these players, two of the strongest players from Japan. Wow, he just went for the parry. I don't know if that was an execution error. Likely uh, an input error. Usually you can expect oh my God. Case. Wow, Look chopping them down. And so that fireball did a lot of damage. That was great health there, yeah. Huge lead already for Tokido in this one. And I'm not gonna lie, he is looking like a monster tearing through this loser's bracket. He was on fire yesterday. The only person he lost Ooh. to, Punk. And you can see why. Yeah, and Punk, you know, is the guy waiting in Grand Finals, and he goes for a risky sweep. Those everybody sweep is very punishable in this game. Yeah. And that wasn't that at a range where I feel like it would have been safe if blocked. But it was the right read. Tokido got it, takes round one, gets away from the armor. Oh boy. Crush there. Oh, and the read and this is yeah. the right one. Tokido corner carry. There's the big wake up EX. We saw that earlier against Moke. Oh my god, the damage between that EX running bear grab and this combo. It's huge and one more SP. Oh, he went low. Why would you think that he's still in range of SPD? Why? No, I mean, you're, you're halfway across the country. It's not even in the same area code, right? I mean, there's no reason for that to reach, but it did. Itabashi knew the spacing, he knew the setup. Okay, that's a good sign right there for Tokido, getting the anti-air. If there is one weakness in the Street Fighter game, he is so focused on the ground game that sometimes he's not ready to anti-air. But he's been looking good in that department this whole weekend. He walked all the way up in his face to punish that. Incredible. Tokido's so prepared. You can see he's really looking like he's a man on a mission here. Look at this aggression from Tokido staying. Oh, and he baits the regular throw out from Itabashi. Gets the throw, and oh, Tokido almost looked like he was surprised at how quick that first game was. Ooh, look at that little oh. sway from Tokido. I love it. I love it. I mean, before it was all the, the, the focus and the, and the calmness, but now suddenly he's got a rhythm to his in, in, in between game. Uh, I can't think of the word for it. A little it. bit of swagger, <laughs> yeah. if you will, right? Routine. That's the word I'm thinking of. In between game routine. He's added it in there. I mean, he's got good reason to feel confident. Look at the way he's playing, right? So prepared for every situation. He's like Batman. Like, he just got it all <laughs> logged somewhere in the Echo Fox cave. He's got a huge database of all of his opponents. Oh, no. But guess what? We've seen this enough times already. Oh, and he gets him low and is able to confirm into the Lariat to get the stun. And just like that, Itabashi in quick fashion coming back with the first round. The bat has been broken. <laughs> Over the knee. Oh, that's going to be a... Oh, he was a little late on the punish, but there's a buffer from Tokido. Walked Ooh. back out of the range of the throw and got the command throw. Wow, look at this guy march. Huge punish, though. Yeah, beautiful double jump from uh, Tokido. Oh, man, interrupted with the crouch light, crouch light punch. Caught Tokido off guard and was able to SVD. Chases down the teleport. And there's that air fireball, buys him some time, gets rid of the stun, creates the space. Tokido is still living. Yeah, but this game so far has been all Itabashi this time. What a lariat. He stayed patient. He tucked them in. It's going to be a game for Itabashi Zenki. Good night. And See that happy man himself, Itabashi, <laughs> with a smile, as you mentioned. He's always got that look oh. to his face. We'll see if there's that same kind of sway from Tokido. A little bit. A little bit of sway. Yeah, there was a little bit. I like it. Yes. It's different than it used to be. Uh -huh. yeah, he used to not be that way. It was always the intense stare. A little bit more jovial than he used to be. Ooh. Playing this neutral game. And this is a matchup where a lot of people thought it was not great for Akuma when the character originally came out, but I, I think since then Tokido has changed a lot of his Yeah, life. absolutely. Tokido has really been, I feel like, the main pioneer of most Akuma strategy and tech. He has rewritten a lot of the opinions of people 
of, of what they thought of this character. Exactly. He's been the man on the frontier, really making people believe, and you can see why. Oh, Reed. You Is he are dead? so crazy, Tokido. He got hit out of the air, saw the spin, said, you know what? I don't need to land and respect this. I can land an uppercut. And not only that, I know I have a V-trigger and this beefy combo waiting for you. That was absolutely genius from Tokido. Oh, oh the absence select! Goes for the goal to deal with. If you try to jump out of that ground SPD, he's got the throw. Immediately goes up to meet you in the air. Okay, just going in with the overhead punch. The demon flip has so many different follow-ups. It's got a throw, it's got an overhead, it's got a dive kick to keep pressure going. You have a slide. I mean, there's so many different things you gotta watch out for. Tokido with the jump in. Finding the pressure, the red fireball. The boss just survives, but... Oh my god, they just stared each other down in the face. Risky range to be Tokido, though, fighting it out. He's got V-Trigger on deck. Activates it. The throw. Oh! oh! Itabashi going for one of his patented surprise wake-up EX SPDs, but Tokido blowing it up. Oh! You see the satisfaction on that man's face, carving his way through the loser's bracket. The only person to beat him was Punk yesterday, and that was to make winners top eight. We'll see how good that guy is playing. So, Tokido ready to try to meet him in that grand finals here. Oh, punish maybe? No, a little far. He had already committed to a back down. Oh, taking out that standing heavy punch and having the anti-air on point. Like I said, if that's what Tokido has ready for you, you are just in such trouble. Because like I said, that's like his only, dude, he built up the extra gray damage with that jump back light kick. Yeah. He didn't just jump away. He was like, I'm gonna add a little extra gray damage on there. Yeah, it looked like he went for down short instant overhead as a wake up and hit a boss ship for both, but still look at this tremendous lead for Tokido here. Oh, he got him, not a full double though, and punished the forward dash on wake up with the fireball. Tokido, match point, semifinals here. And despite it being 2-1, it felt like Tokido has been doing this in, in, in relatively easy fashion, but Hidabashi now getting in with that jump. Oh yeah, two in a row, he's recognized. Tokido not prepared for the answer oh, here. Oh, no, yep. Like I said, that's like one of his only weaknesses, and if he gets the anti-air on point, he may not have any weaknesses. Yeah, so prepared for everything. Just gotta be careful about it. He really figures things out with his character, right? So few people play it at this level. Again, he is probably one of the biggest scientists ever. In fact, even in Street Fighter 4, that... Oh no, that's probably dead. It's enough to kill Itabashi. All the meter plants him in the ground. <laughs> That was quite a feat right there from Itabashi, punishing with that 720. You know, fishing with that fierce there. He can hit confirm, see if it hits, find the strike, and now he's got this corner positioning, already pushing him towards there, looking for whip punishes, trying to establish that ground game. Oh, punish. Big opportunity for Itabashi here. So Kido's got a guess there, it is again. Yeah, go for the regular throw because that has so much less width. Big stun, big round, big game, and Abashi ties Man. things up to a piece. I just said that it looked like Tokido was had, had control over this whole matchup. Boy, was I wrong. Look at this. Look at what Itabashi Zangief just did. That's how Zangief works. He just needs one chance, one opportunity, and he can make it. Count. So here it is, final match between these two loser semis here at EVO. Whoever loses here goes home fourth place. Winner moves on in the top three. Well, countering with that crouching light punch, but there it is, the uppercut from Tokido. Oh, and a punish, wow. I'm not even sure if he just confirmed that or if he just saw that Itabashi was touching a button. Not enough to stun. Goes for the throw, oh my god. Trying to clip him just to get that stun, but you know what? It's not gonna happen anymore. But oh wait, never mind it did because those are all lights, so they didn't kill. But Tokido now at match point. It's really been back and forth between these two. Not none of these games have been close. It's like been domination from one player or the other. Whoever can find their momentum, get that offense going. 
And so Kido has shown how powerful it is. <laughs> Headbutt's one fireball, but not the second. Ziggy moving in. Still no end here from Tokido, oh. the big crush. Goes in for that safe jump timing. Oh, okay, there it is. That wake up EX SPD works for Itabashi this time. Here comes the mix up. Stay back down. Don't you go anywhere. Very close to stun the back roll. He chases it down. We are going to a final round here. Who is gonna move on here? It is the last game, last round between Tokido and Zangi. Very fitting that it is this game five where we have the closest game between these two players. Tokido. Resources on deck, so was it Abashili finally an anti air? And then the just walking well. up for the throw, yeah. You gotta be so careful, Keep with all those resources. 60% can be drained at any time, any jump, any confirm. Again, no life lead against Zangief is enough because it could all go downhill, but again, Tokido on point with his anti airs here in this game. Oh my god, okay, here it goes. Here we go, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here's another SVD. Activates the V trigger. Oh, oh was it close range. enough? He's a little far. Oh my hit god! Confirmed. Tokido confirms into the critical art. It's not gonna be enough to kill. He's just got a tiny bit left. It is not safe by any stretch of the imagination. Look at the meter for Itabashi. He's so close to having it. If he gets a hit, it could be death. And a light punch into V trigger will still connect. Oh my god, what are you doing, Tokido? Oh. You are a madman, Tokido knew that Itabashi was gonna go for a crazy Hail Mary with a level one vacuum, but level one is punishable. Tokido punished it successfully and he moves on. Itabashi Zangief goes home, fourth place at Evolution, and that means Tokido moves on. He is now in Losers Finals, top three. Last year, this guy Tokido was supposed to be in top two of Evolution. The only man who could defeat him was supposed to be Infiltration. He didn't even get into top eight. Now he has a chance to redeem himself. Yeah, he had drowned in semis. He did get 16th place, but that just, it's, it's hard to say out of 5,000 people you'd be disappointed getting 16th place last year. But well, for Tokido, that, yeah, that just uh -huh. tells you how good he is right yep. there. 16th place is a disappointment. He is in top three here at Evolution. He's got to be causing no go to move into that grand finals. The only man who's defeated him all week and has been Punk, who is waiting for him. Waiting for the winner of this set. And Kazunoko, the way things went against Punk, he has to try to re regain himself, right? Go into that moment, think about everything that happened, and really try to figure out what was going on. I mean, you know, we got an incredible top three coming up for you guys here at Evolution. It's going to be an amazing one. You guys will get to see that in just a little bit right after this break.